how the hell did you acquire this magical spot that you have in Alaska? I'd have to give you some context. Okay. And uh, I grew up on an Indian mound in North Florida, to give you an idea. of An Indian mound? Yeah, my parents moved this family down from Ohio and bought nine acres on the St. John's River in 1962. This is where I grew up, and it was on top of an Indian mound. We didn't know it at the time, so I was always out digging in the mound, looking for pottery, and I was always captivated by looking for treasure. And I did that as a kid, and then uh, did a lot of surfing and stuff like that, as you might think, in Florida, and got to be pretty good at swimming. Ended up in high school uh, setting the American record in a 50-yard freestyle. And there was a fellow, an assistant coach at the University of Florida named Eddie Reese. You might recognize his name. He's the head coach at the University of Texas right here. Three-time Olympic coach, widely regarded now as the greatest swim coach of all time. I gave him a call before we came over here and just to say hello. We're in and out quick. But he uh, rec recruited me to Florida, and I got recruited at a couple other colleges because I was a pretty quick swimmer. University of Alabama, I met uh, Bear Bryant, the swim coach took me by the f practice field and introduced me to him and he said, uh, can you catch a football? You should be a football player, you're too big to be a swimmer. And by the, that, that was a couple hundred pounds ago, by the way, I should mention. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he says, can you catch a football? I said, yeah, I, I think so. He says, hey, Joe, Joe, come out here, throw this guy a pass. It was Joe Namath. Wow. He says, go long. I said, I start running down the field, threw me a ball, and I said, you got to catch this. you got to catch this. And I caught it. He says, throw it back. And I did. And then uh, went to the swimming pool and met all the swimmers and all that kind of stuff. And then I got recruited by Florida at Coach Eddie Reese and uh, decided I want to go to Florida. That was seemed like a lot more fun. And I went to Florida, and the... Uh, First year I was there, I was an uh, All-American swimmer, and we, I got seventh place at West Point in the NCAAs. The next year, my coach, the NCAAs were in, Austin, we were in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. He says, uh, coach says, you don't win this. You're, I'm going to send you to Alaska. Alaska? What's that? Never even thought about Alaska. I got second place. So, okay, I'm going to Alaska. <laughs> I didn't win it. Now, here, here I am, full scholarship, great family. I had five sisters growing up and uh, doing real good. But I said, fuck it, I only got, <laughs> I guess, second place. I'm going to Alaska, so I dropped out of college. So just because he said that? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was. But obviously, he was probably fucking around, right? Yeah, he was fucking around. But the thing is, I was such a shitty student. If I didn't drop out, I was going to flunk out. And I talked to the registrar there by the name of Wendy Smallwood, who took care of all the athletes coming in. She said, "Man, you, <laughs> if you don't get out of here, you're going to flunk out." And so I said, "Well, if I drop out, can I come back my junior year?" And she goes, "Oh yeah, you can do that. But if you flunk out, no." I said, okay, well, I think I will. And then I saw a movie called Jeremiah Johnson. I said, you know what? I'm going to be a mountain man. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, I went down to the registrar's office, took the dropout sheet, wrote Gone Fishing on it as my excuse, <laughs> hung it on my college door. I had played two two card gut poker game the night before. I had, you know, 50 bucks. I got enough. Put that in the next morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, taped that to my door and out the door. I went with a backpack, a shotgun, and and that's about all I had. Hitchhiked, got done I-75 and started Somebody hitchhiking. picked you up with a shotgun? It was in a case. Oh. <laughs> got me in trouble in Seattle. I got arrested for being the I-5 sniper. Whoa. And that was, you know. Sniper with a shotgun? Well, they, they had to look at the shotgun to find out I wasn't the sniper because the sniper used a rifle. Yeah. And I just walked into that. I mean, it was like I made a phone call at a gas station, and pretty soon all the nearby where the sniper was shooting the day before, 
So all these cops showed up. I was the only time I've been arrested by 60 police officers. And I was, he goes, okay, killer, where's the gun? I go, what are you talking about? And I forgot where I put the shotgun. So I'm wandering around the gas station looking for it. Found it tucked between the water cooler and a wall where I'd stopped to take a drink of water when all the action started. So they, yeah, that's a shotgun. They took me back to the University of Seattle. I told them I had been sleeping in the in the brush. So, you know, when there was a, a board there that said riders uh, needed to Alaska must be mechanically unkind. So I called that number. I said, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm a, I'm a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. But I said, what do you got? And he goes, a Volkswagen van. Well, luckily, that was the only vehicle I'd ever turned a wrench on because earlier like two years earlier three years earlier i went on a surfing safari from florida to california in a volkswagen van we had to drop the engine out in tempe arizona it's only four four bolts but we had a spare engine because we figured that might happen so anyways i, I got a hold of the, the guy that rode up to, to alaska with him and got about six jobs because one thing i couldn't do as a swimmer is you're always working out you know, swim six hours a day for six years and never made any money. I got up there and I had like a part-time job swim coach working as a film editor from the University of Alaska. Some just different bullshit jobs that I could make money, man. I'm making money. I like this. And so I came back after that, Joe, and I went back to college. And I mentioned, I think, that I was a shitty student. I didn't get any better my junior year. <laughs> so, junior year, I go, I'm done. I went to the NCAAs in Long Beach. Didn't do very well. And knew I was going to go. They had the swim banquet at the end of the year. And the coach, head coach told me, by now, I'm uh, Eddie Reese had moved on to another college. I think he went to Auburn. He looked at our team and he said, I'm... Um, I'm going to go places. I'm going to, instead of being an assistant coach, I'm going to be a head coach. And then he ended up at Texas, where he's been an Olympic coach three times, countless national championships, just a good guy. And, yeah, I know you love sports. He's the winningest sport in, in, or winningest coach in swimming history. If you ever get a chance to meet that guy, he's awesome. And so... I went back, the coach said, uh, at the banquet, you've been elected captain for your the senior year. I said, I ain't doing it. I'm going to Alaska. I'm out of here, man. So off I went. 